One of the biggest benefits of N-Scale over HO scale when you're talking about 3D printing has been the ability to sometimes print entire buildings with a resin 3D printer, which gives you all of that crazy detail. Well, guess what? You HO scale guys can do it now too. This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. These videos would not be possible without them. And if you'd like to join the Patreon community, you can follow the link in the description below and join for as little as $1 a month. I've been testing a new budget-friendly resin 3D printer that's going to make you HO scalers smile. Now, medium and large format resin 3D printers have been making waves over the past two years, and now they are finally hitting what I would consider a mass market price point. This is the sub $400 range. Now, I know that that's still expensive for a lot of people, but when you consider that just a few years ago, this class of printers wouldn't be found for under $1,000, they're moving in the right direction. The new wave of affordable large format resin 3D printers uh, have a mostly 8.9 inch monochrome LCD screen, which allows for a significantly larger build volume versus the smaller size resin 3D printers. One of these large format printers is the Voxalab Proxima 8.9. Now you can also find this printer named the Flashforge Photo 8.9. They're the same printer. When I bought this printer, I paid $359 US for it. Since then, I've actually been able to find it for as low as $299. And that's the same price as an Elgu Mars 3, which is a smaller printer from one of the big 3D printer companies. So what are the specs of the Proxima? The print volume is 192 by 120 by 200 or 7.56 inches long by 4.72 inches wide by 7.87 inches high. That's pretty dang big, especially when you consider that 50 feet in HO scale is just under seven inches. So this printer brings rolling stock printing into play for you HO scalers. Now, the printer has a 4K monochrome screen that allows for quicker layer cure times, which means faster prints. And these high detail prints are thanks to the 4K screen. So what does all this mean in real world terms? It means that you can bring a larger printer and print higher detail items like buildings, rolling stock, and other big details. So let's hop into Chitu Box, which is the slicer I use for my 3D prints, and slice a model and see what we can do. We're going to start with HO Scale Building 2 from my Etsy store. This building was designed to fit on the older, smaller printers. And as you can see, when it's put on the large print base, it has plenty of space on the print bed. So let's go ahead and slice it up and print it out. And here's the model. It actually looks fantastic and better than when I used to print it on my other ones, partially because of that 4K resolution. I've got really crisp, clear brick lines. I've got good window detail and I've got just good detail overall. Very few layer lines that I can see. It just looks really, really, really good. I'm really happy with the way that this print turned out. Now, let's try something I've never been able to print on a resin printer before. You saw this at the beginning. This is my best seller on Etsy. It is in scale. It is a small in scale two story building. And so what happens when we take this and scale it up to HO scale and print it out? We bring our in scale model into Chitu Box and scale it up by 184% normal size. This is the size difference between in scale and HO scale for reference. We then do our tilt and add in our supports. We then slice the model and export it to print. Back at the printer, we plug in our flash drive and press print.
So we've seen this one, obviously. This is the in-scale building from my Etsy store. It's a two-story building. This is the best seller in my store. And here is the HO scale version. Now, don't think it's anything weird. I just used two different colors of gray of resin when I was printing these, so that's the color difference. But you can see they're just, they're identical. Um, really, really super happy with it. I think I have some supports I still have to trim off, but just really super happy with the way this is. The brick detail is fantastic. It looks phenomenal and I'm just super, super happy with it. Um, this is something that I would put on my layout if I had HO scale right away. As a matter of fact, we can do a little comparison here. Let's just see how it looks. And you can see the buildings match up just about perfectly in terms of scale and or they do match up perfectly <laughs> and yeah that looks really really great and i'm really really happy with this now 3d printers have added a whole new aspect to model railroading and this whole new wave of larger resin 3d printers has opened up an entire world to larger scale modelers. I know that there are even larger printers on the horizon, so you O scalers and G scalers better be on the lookout. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, do some printing, and happy railroading.